Uh, rescuers are continuing to search through the rubble here of the shopping centre, which is completely destroyed. I mean, there's really absolutely nothing left of it virtually. The entire depth of the building is completely burned out after that huge fire that followed uh, the missile strike yesterday. And rescuers have been working through the night clearing debris to see uh, if they can recover anyone uh, trapped underneath. I, I spoke to uh, one of the rescuers a little earlier, uh, and she said that, that they're not hopeful of finding anyone alive uh, at this stage, and that in fact they have found uh, human remains. Uh, so it's very hard for them uh, to get a clear idea of exactly how many people uh, died. Uh, but the official figure that we've been given from the regional governor uh, is 18 uh, so far, and a local police station. Uh, not far from here is collecting DNA from relatives uh, who've reported uh, loved ones missing since this attack yesterday. Now, we understand around half of this area have been cleared so far. It does feel more like a recovery operation uh, rather than a rescue operation now, but certainly uh, a very grim uh, attack indeed uh, to have happened on this central Ukrainian city just before four o'clock in the afternoon yesterday, a busy time. Uh, with lots of people shopping here, uh, lots of families at the supermarket. Uh, and of course, this is just the latest in uh, a run of attacks on uh, civilian targets. The Russians claim they're not targeting civilian areas, but certainly uh, these, continue, these attacks uh, continue to happen.